Patch 1315 is here, so let's go over the top 5 comps recommended by our team of challenger experts. First up we have Arcane Wizards, which runs a full Sorcerer board. The full comp uses Lux and Ari as your damage carries, the heavily buffed Swain and Tarik in your frontline, and J4 as your Sork Emblem holder too. And then the remaining Sorcerers, Velkos, Malzahar and Orianna in the back. For the Legend, we'd recommend going for Poro to keep it simple, or consider Earth to help grab that emblem early. This is a default leveling comp, meaning you'll stabilize at level 7 by slotting in Lux and Jarvan, whilst not wanting to roll too hard here, because level 8 is really where this comp truly comes online. So keep calm and make sure you got those best in slot items ready to go. Speaking of items, you want to prepare Lux first and foremost, as when she comes in at level 7, she'll spike your board pretty damn hard. Lux's laser deals tons of damage if you grab her an Archangels, a Jeweled Gauntlet, and a Hextech Gunblade. You'll also want to make sure you prepare any other defensive items ready for Jarvan, other than his Sorcerer Emblem. Then at level 8, Ari will hopefully join the party, and she works best with a blue buff and a Jeweled Gauntlet, as her ability would deal some insane damage to entire boards. Yes, despite the nerfs, Ari is still an extremely high value unit, especially so in a comp like this one. For your augments, your highest priority is making sure you get that Sorcerer Emblem online, so you can lock in this comp pretty early on if you do see a Sorcerer Heart Crest or Crown. Overcharged Mana Font is another instant pickup for this comp though, as it's genuinely made for it, providing your Sorcerer units with more mana. Jeweled Lotus is a fantastic damage augment too, as this will help your full Sork board deal even more damage. If you went for the Earth Legend, Emblem augments like Ancient Archives can also help out here too. Now if you do want to learn a bit more about Arcane Wizards or any other S tier comp in this patch, then click the link in the description and check out our full in-depth expert video guides for all the strongest comps to play. The Shirima and Strategist comp called Spear and Shield has made a return to the S tier this week with the changes and buffs to Swain, Azir and Teemo. The full comp runs with Azir, Nasus, Lux, Jarvan, Garen, Swain, Talia and Teemo. And for the legends of play, we'd advise going for Vladimir to add even more power to this already terrifying comp. This is another default leveling comp which runs similar to the Sorcerer comp we just spoke about, focusing on playing for level 7 to find your main 4 cost carries, Azir and Lux, and your main tanks, Nasus and Jarvan. With this one, don't be afraid to roll a little bit here to make sure you get these units before anyone else does. When it comes to items, Azir wants a Shiv, a Gunblade and a Rageblade, and then you can send any AP leftovers to Lux. Send anything defensive to your Nasus with items like Dragon's Claw, Bramble Vest and Redemption being fantastic choices, and if he's already geared up, J4 can take any of the other defensive items too. For augments, your best bet is to pick up a Strategist Heart or Soul to activate the highest ceiling of this trait and basically dominate the lobby. Tactical Samiriority is as cool as it sounds too, giving the majority of your board even more power. Aside from those, the Vladimir Legend augments like Battle Ready or Final Ascension are very strong too, so pick these up if the other options don't offer too much. Next up in number 3 we have Guns Out, and this comp runs with a full gunner backline pew pewing enemy boards with Zeri as your main carry. She'll take some extra help from Urgot and Sejuani will lead the front line as your main tank. So your full comp will include Zeri, Sejuani, Urgot, Senna, Echo, Jace, Jinx and Vi, and for the legend to play, we'd recommend Orn to get those big bad items slammed onto your main carries. This is yet another default comp that wants you to level up at a regular pace. You'll want to stabilise with a copy of your main 4 cost units and carries at around the start of stage 4, and 2 star all of them at level 8 to lock in your full comp and help get that first place. Zeri's main item priority is an Infinity Edge, a Last Whisper and a Rage Blade, so focus on getting these items ready as early and as soon as you can. Urgot will also bring some big damage and durability with a Titan's Resolve or 2, and of course a BT. And then just send anything else defensive onto your Sejuani. For augments, finding a gunner one is the best way to unlock this comp's best potential. So make sure you lock in this comp if you do come across an early gunner heart or crown. The gunner specific augment dueling gunners is also of course a great choice, boosting the attack speed of most of your damage units. And as you run 4 Zorn in this comp too, the Chemtech enhancements is pretty OP. Aside from those, any Orn Forge augments to get huge items for your carries are just ideal too. Void got some pretty juicy buffs this patch, bringing our Super Nash Bros comp back into a seriously strong position. Kaiser has been buffed and so has Rek'Sai, making him a potential carry here too. Now as you probably already know, this comp runs with a full Void board, unleashing Baron Nasher at level 8 and using Kaiser and Belveth as your main damage carries. The one cost unit Cho'Gath will be your main tank in the frontline. The full comp includes Kaiser, Belveth, Yasuo, Cho'Gath, Rek'Sai, Velkos, Kassadin and Malzahar. And for the legend to play, we'd recommend going for Earth, to increase your chances of securing that plus one void, which is genuinely essential if you're playing for Void 8. 
Guess what, this is another default comp spiking at level 7 and getting fully online at level 8. So try to win streak early and make sure you've got enough gold to find Kaiser, Belveth and your emblem holder Yasuo to slot them straight in and get ready to play for level 8. For items, Kaiser works best with Archangels, Spear of Shojin and Jeweled Gauntlet. And then focus on gearing up Belveth with Edge of Night and RFC. Any defensive items can go on your main tank Cho'Gath. And don't be afraid to put leftover AD items too onto your Yasuo. Or even Rek'Sai if you've somehow managed to find plenty of copies of him. For your augments, getting that plus one void is the most important thing when playing this comp. So any void, heart or soul are instant grabs. Other augments to help secure the emblem like Dedication or Ancient Archives can definitely help out here too. And aside from that, Stable Evolution was literally made for this comp, so make sure you don't re-roll that one. Finally, we have Noxus Empire, which has been one of the best performing comps all set 9 so far. You'll be focused on 3-starring and itemizing your main carries Darius and Katarina, alongside adding in strong 4-cost units in Azir, Nasus and Jarvan to bolster your scaling. The full comp includes Darius, Katarina, Azir, Nasus, Jarvan, Sion, Swain and Cassiopeia. And for the legend to play, we'd recommend going for Orn to get those super strong items slammed onto your main 3 star carries. This comp is the only slow roll comp on our list, which plays around getting to level 7 to roll and 3 star your main carries, Darius and Katarina. But also don't hesitate to pick up extra copies of Swain along the way too, as 3 starring him here can also help you take that first place. For your items, it really is all about getting Darius and Katarina geared up as quickly as possible, as these two units will easily help you win streak. Darius wants an IE, BT and Titans, and Katarina wants Ironic Spark, Hand of Justice and Jeweled Gauntlet. Anything defensive can go onto Swain if he's 3 starred, or Jarvan, Nasus or Scion later on. Now aside from that, you also want to keep an eye out for some extra items for Azir, with Rageblade and Jeweled Gauntlet allowing him to bring a real threat of damage in the later stages. For Augments, a Noxus Emblem is simply massive here, allowing you to pop it onto Jarvan or Nasus, so always grab that Heart, Crest or Crown if you can. If you get unlucky, make sure to keep an eye out for those spatulas and belts instead. The Noxus Augment Total Domination is ridiculously strong too, so make sure you pick that one up and lock in this comp early if you do find it. Aside from that, any Orn Forge Augments are great choices, as well as Idealism for that secured Hand of Justice. And that will bring us to the end of our top 5 comps for patch 13-15 in set 9. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to download Mobilitics to get our in-game overlay and let us help you climb in set 9. Good luck guys and have fun.